All right, we're going to show what I'm doing here. You don't want to watch it, skip ahead. So I'm going to see how quickly I can do a swap. So I pull the cutter out as an assembly, already preset, so it should cut the same diameter within a thou or so, hopefully. So now I'm just going to flip these things over, put them right back on here, and, and just bore the hole out and save time. Because everything's already dialed in square, should not be too much changing. Okay, we're well, going to take this out. We're going to deburr the edge a little bit with a file. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little filing on this thing here. off anything that sticks up high. Alright, so that should sit nice and flat now. Right over here anyway. Appears to be pretty flat. Perfect. Okay, so we have my little X here where I left it. Okay, this was out, this X. So we're just going to take this and flip it 180 like that, keep the X where it was, so it should repeat the same tilt, hopefully. So here's the other one. I'm going to do the same thing over here, deburr it. Will cause an error. So we want no chips. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is this over here. This one came off this side. There's our X right here. Make sure it's clean. It goes right in there. This one here. Where's our X at? Oop, there it is. There's our X. Make sure it's all clean. There. Raise this back up. <clears throat> A little pressure on there. A couple of light taps with a lead hammer. Basically, it's a dead blow uh, hammer. got a lot of force behind it so it moves stuff when you hit it. Okay, torque that down like we did before. Take your tooth out feeler gauge and make sure it doesn't go under here anywhere. Of course it does. That's always nice. <laughs> Wonderful. <coughs> See, we've got three thou. Yep. Hmm. So we're getting a little bit of an error in there for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and pull that back off and double check. I'm guessing we're getting the error because these are not flat machine on the other side. Let's see what we can find for. 
Okay, this is my thawing file. A little bit more finer finish. This is when it's off quite a bit. You can hear I had high spots for this because I touched it and the file screaming is cutting. Okay. My chips are already on there. Okay, this time I'm going to clamp it more in the middle instead of at the very top. Again. <coughs> Tight. All right. Where my feeler gauge go. Spin those under both. Yep. Can we foul? It's even worse. <laughs> nice. Even worse. Great. So where's the air coming from? Yeah, that doesn't want to go on as much as it did before. Not going in. So we're still getting about a little over three thou air for some reason. That shouldn't be there. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be clearest anyway, but it'd be nice if it was a lot closer than that. I don't understand why it's out of whack, but it is. Oh well. Too bad. Now we need to measure these uh, centers here and see if they moved on us also. Okay. Zero. Okay, about twelve. Not even touching. About ten. Eleven. There's about five on that side. Ten. There's five or so on that side again.
Okay, right there. Straight and straight. Okay, that's the same. Just put in a 10 and 11. All right. So this direction stay the same, this one here move because I'll be put this in a different spot. Okay, so that's zeroed out. Okay, now we come back up here, we've got to do this other one. Before this changed by six or nine, I forget which one it was. Let's see, we got this time. Come on. Five. Okay, there's seven, seven and a half that way. Six. Ooh, a lot over there. Twelve and a half and fourteen, so that's about the average there. Thirteen and a half. Big chunk over there. Nice. That's a 15. Here, about ten and a half, ten and a quarter, thirteen and a half, and comes off again the other direction. Okay, so we moved it fourth out this time instead of six, so that'll work. Okay, so we got everything centered up now. I don't know if you can see any of what I was doing there. Yeah, whatever. Probably not. Indicators over here. There it goes. Do that. I'm gonna put this back in. In about this direction here. There we go. Okay. So we should be able to go in the same dimension this time. bearings almost fit in there same dimension we had before but not quite and we're going to want to cut probably about 10 thou off of this surface here at least so I'm going to go ahead and raise this up about 10 thou from what we were headed at so many get buried in this before okay so now we go ahead and just bore this hole
40 or 41 last time. Let's see what we got this time. 41 and a half. We picked up a thou. Forty-one. So they got a one towel bigger by putting in and out. Yeah, half to one towel. Well within spec. We're good enough. Okay, that one's done. I'm gonna go ahead and zero this thing out the other way. Zero. I'm zero this one. In case you know what zero means. Zero's up here. That's how we did it first time. That goes right to a tenth with thou. Two tenths. Oop, two tenths the other way. There's one tenth. Oop, zero went too far. Damn it. Perfect right there. Yep, we moved to ten. Okay, now we're lined up on this one because we already dialed it in. Let's go back in here, make sure we don't hit. We got a cut. <clears throat> See how much quicker it is, we already got a preset. Things go a lot faster. What you got? Okay, that's what we got this time. That's we got 41 and a half that one. Ooh, 42. 42 got worse. Alright. Need more there. We're gonna have to back this thing off it though. Cut too much. Oh well. Okay, so now all these holes are done. We're not doing no more boring. So we can go ahead and unadjust this now. Get back to a reasonable position. I'm going to cut her out. Fit looks good. Didn't hurt it any. Nice and sharp. Okay, that part's done. Put everything away where it goes so it's out of the way. If you put all your stuff back every time, you know exactly where it is. And I know this is back here because we're leaving. I know I need my other cutter. It's right here. So there you go. I know it goes over the mill, so it goes up in the mill. that far so I'm going to have to crank this thing up to get to this area. Bearings we don't need anymore. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing on and go start cutting on this. Got to get on top of both of these first. Okay, now we can raise this crank handle up until we hit. Right there, we just hit. And now we're six thousand right there. You see how it's hitting right over there. The cut mark is right there. Obviously, it's not cutting on this side.
Here, I'm going to speed this thing up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give it five thousandths or so. That might have been six. <coughs> okay, we did not touch. Give it a couple more. Okay, that's going to be almost ten thou on that one, so we're going to wait. I'm going to speed this up a little bit until I hear it touch. There it goes. Tip the flying out this side right here. Hit me in my elbow. If you don't stand where the chips go, you don't get anything in your face. Or burn into your skin. And that's a heavy cut. Flying, hitting the board over there, hitting the cardboard over here. You never put your fingers near the cutter. Okay, you can see how it's all clean all the way around there. You can see how it's not cutting right here. This side here, it's only cutting from here to here. All this other stuff is low. So when we put these things in there before, it was only hitting on this corner right here is all it was hitting on. Okay, one direction. Okay, we're going to cut this again. So there's another five. We can probably push seven without too much problem. It feels like it sounds like half the cut I just did. Quite a bit didn't hit. Okay, so we're gonna go another seven thou. Hit more. Can't see if I'm hitting on that side or not. And see when it comes out. The planes were done. If not, we'll cut it again. Pretty heavy final pass, so I might come back just for hell of it. <laughs> Did not clean. Jeez, that's a big cut. Got a whole corner, it's not clean. Right in my vein, look at that, nice blue chip. Let's 
Okay. This point is pretty low through here. Seven seems to be the magic number. Let me give it another seven. So I guess we cut the good side first. smooth, I might not have to come back and do a cut. Maybe I like only cutting two or three thou at the end, not seven. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Okay, we'll give it a couple thou. The final pass. Let's call it done. Now, none of this is really necessary because as long as it doesn't rub, I'm fine. That's the terminal of the bearing set. I'm picky, I like it being nice. No reason not to make it good. Just take a little extra time, okay. I don't think it's tomorrow yet, so I'm okay. So, can we see our witness marks? Yeah, a little bit. See the cross hat pattern right there in the corner? Going from both directions, that's the witness mark. So that means we're pretty damn flat. Leave them over there. <coughs> you can see the shine is the loss and then cut. Yeah. The knees are pretty smooth. That's kind of pouring metal before. Oh yeah, it feels a lot smoother. Still a little bit uneven, but a lot better than it was. Alright. Go. All done with that. Feels good. All right, so we got everything done on that one. Pull that out. Just got the bones in the center. It's a burnt, embedded chip out of my arm. It's still burning in my arm right here. See. Gotta be able to take pain when you're machining. Hot chips burn into your skin, that's okay.
See when I hot everything was? See the white chips? Those aren't very hot. See those purple chips? That's pretty stinking hot. Those blue chips? Now when you get the purple, it gets even hotter. First you have blue, then you get purple. Those deep blue ones there are pretty stinking hot. So those are what burn into you when they hit you. That's how you know you're cutting pretty good. All right, where's my file at? So. down. So now you lay them on a table over here. They sit pretty flat. So I wonder how close they are to the number I wanted. Uh, it was just over six inches. Let's see, I don't know if my caliper go just over six inches. Eh, it only goes 62 thou over. I don't think it's enough to measure them. Ooh, these are a lot more than I thought they were going to be. Six and a quarter. That's a good six and a quarter inches there. Those are longer than I thought they were. I thought they were like three sixteenths before I cut on them. Obviously, I was bigger. And then I can take a nice six inch wide plate, stick in there, and not worry about rubbing on the sides. So it'll bend nice and cleanly, which is good. That's a good thing. All right, so now I have to machine these surfaces down flat here. I don't really have to. I can just sand these and probably call it done. Yeah, I don't really need to do that. It doesn't really matter if this stuff is flat or not because it's just going to rub across. So the plate goes in here, you push down on it, it's just going to follow. These are going to rotate like that and then slide across the surface. So as long as these things don't have a bunch of flat spots on there, you're okay. But I kind of like having them flat, so I think I'm going to them anyway. Just because I'm me. Okay, let me get all this cleaned up and we'll be back.